welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by today what we'll be discussing is energy sources that you can fit into your bug out bag as well as vaping so the reason why i'm combining these two i'll show you in a moment but it has to do with my communication um, my lights and then just also having a bit of fun with the vaping on the side so yes i am someone who does vape and with that said last time when we spoke about prepping we also looked at not looking at it as the zombie apocalypse but just being prepared for let's say for instance looking for a new job because something happened at your company and you might be without work for the next three months so that sense of being prepared if i'm someone who does vape and i enjoy my vaping and nicotine then i would like to be able to continue vaping within that three month period now with that said there are four items that you basically need to make your own e-liquid and they are vegetable glycerin propylene glycol nicotine and a flavor whichever you would like preferably bubblegum so with these items and an application as simple as vape tool that you can load onto your phone it will tell you the correct ratios to make whichever type of e-liquid you want to three milligrams of nicotine strength up to let's say for instance 36 milligrams of nicotine strength with a, what i would not recommend because even though vaping is the safer alternative you tend to do it a lot more and nicotine still has detrimental effects on your body okay with vaping out of the way let's have a look at our power generating options that we can fit into our bug out bag let's have a look okay so firstly looking at the power options is my magneto led light which has a solar pad on the back which can then re recharge through solar power and it has this usb outlet through which i can then plug in phones or more conveniently i have this little setup for my balfing radios recharge bay which allows me to usb plug it into this light Okay. as you guys can see it is blinking red and green showing that it's ready to go and to be charged and then when i there we go okay now as you guys can see the red light is there and it's basically charging my radio okay So that's it for power option with the magneto in the same way what i would do then is i would also use this magneto light for charging my vapes now why the vapes are important for me is firstly i want to have some fun and have a puff now and then because yes i used to smoke a packet a day and now i've Gone over to vaping and for me personally i believe it's the safer alternative and the two options we are looking at is the aegis solo from geek vape taking one 18650 battery and then the aegis legend from geek vape taking two 18650 batteries okay now why the ages collection for me it's the best option when you are roughing it for the reasons that they are water resistant shock resistant and dust resist resistant okay so how it would work is you have your small little port here that i usually struggle to open up then you can plug in your usb charger into your magneto or alternative option you can get a solar powered power bank okay second one i bought the first one i bought this is a cheaper line 
the first one I bought didn't work out so well but this one seems to be a bit better and then you also have the additional option of having a flashlight okay you can never have too many lights when it comes to roughing it in the wilderness so yes then you basically plug it in there plug it in there and then your vape can recharge so why is the vape so important to me personally it is because of this little guy okay so this is my magneto torch and it's adjustable in the sense of you can adjust the beam so if something's far away you can basically turn it into a spotlight and you can see what's going on around you and please believe me if it's pitch black and something's going bump in the night this is what you want okay so usually it takes a bit of a bigger battery but the bonus about this is it does also take the 18650 which is used in my vapes pop that guy in there close it up and as strong as ever okay so yeah lights and communication is my biggest concerns regarding having power so that's why this guy and this guy will be in my bag out bag i don't know the lifespan of this one but the magneto as thus far great piece of equipment very happy with it and this is how the box looks okay so guys i hope i've given you some guidance or some advice at least and you can make an informed decision there are definitely better products on the market no doubt but these are the ones that i've picked up on a very tight budget so yeah most important guys get your things go test them out have some fun go camping go fishing mess around if it breaks let it break now while shots are still running at 100 percent capacity instead of it breaking when you really need it right okay guys hope this video helped have a lovely day Thank you.